Hi, okay, cut us off, and I'm not quite sure why, and I'm gonna try and do this quickly, so yes, I'm gonna speak fast. We were speaking about our last card, little brother, little sister, and we were being shown that it could be that we have to have the responsibility of taking on someone, a nephew, a niece, um, um, it could be someone else's child, it could be um, an animal, like you're taking care of somebody else's pet, but I, I, but I believe really what it's focusing on is spiritual people, spiritual babies, people that are new, awakening, you know, when I was newly awakened, um, I had mentors that I searched out and I drove them crazy. I was so frustrating, I can't tell you. I asked so many questions and I argued about things that I didn't agree with, that I didn't think were right and they were very patient with me. And so they're speaking about you being able to teach others through your wisdom, through your lessons. And, be, and even though they may be frustrating, we need to um, have patience with these ones and we're gonna teach them, you know, how to set boundaries, how to, you know, to learn from our lessons that we have gone through, that perhaps maybe they won't have to go through their own. I'm thinking about my poison ivy attack. That was a lesson of regret. You learn your lesson after the fact. Someone, which I was being shown someone, I didn't understand um, was actually toxic. I thought this person was safe, just like the poison ivy plant. I didn't realize poison oak, poison sumac, poison ivy, all are very poisonous, but the Oregon grape is actually innocent. So it's learning the difference between the two. So it's a lesson in regret. And just like um, with, a, with a snake bite, you get bit by a snake and it can be deadly, it can be, make you very, very sick, but it's also, it also can be used as an antidote afterwards. So we're gonna teach these ones um, you know, our lessons so that maybe they don't have to have the same kind of pain. We're gonna teach them how to be strong, how to be leaders. We, you know, we may have to sacrifice for this one um, and sacrifice our patience, sacrifice our time, but we're gonna teach them how to be strong, how to grow into who they are. And it could be a young one, like I said, or it could be a spiritual person. Um, also, um, we're going to teach them about boundaries, like that was the one thing I was shown. Teach them about authority, teach them how to inspire others, teach them how to teach others, like we've been taught, right? These are all things. And even though it might be annoying, there's going to be happy times, you know? I wasn't always a pain in the ass to all my teachers, you know? And there was a lot of joy to be, um, to, be to come, for them to watch me grow, I know. And uh, it is for me too when I help others, and I have to remember to be very patient because People learn at different levels, right? And they learn at different speeds and they learn different ways and people don't necessarily learn the way I learn. So I, and we always learn from our, from our students as well. A teacher learns from a student. Um, teacher, a good teacher should never think that he knows it all or she knows it all because we don't. We're not gonna know it all until we're ready to check out. And I don't plan on checking out for 30, 40 more years. More, 40 more years, how about that? Um, another message. Um, I wanted to give you guys about cormorant. I don't know if I told you about cormorant, that um, when the cormorant um, is used by fishermen to dive because they dive down under the water, they have a ring put around their neck so that they don't swallow what they catch. So it's a message to you to not allow others to take what you have worked hard for. This is where you have to recognize, right? And I told you uh, um, one of the lessons and the things that I've learned as a, as a shaman working with the animal messengers, which is my most favorite thing, um, is that you have to pay attention to what the messenger is doing when you see it, right? The, the, the bird or the dog or the fish or whatever it is. What, what is it that's happening? That gives you another message. So as I was cruising along here, um, Spirit clearly knew that this was my path and I would see this. Um, and it's a little bit morbid, so I don't want you to get upset. But um, I found a cormorant and he's dead. Okay, so now he, they give us a lesson in their life while they're living and they give us a lesson in their death. So now I know it's a cormorant. I lifted his head, see? I'm gonna take him to the shore because I don't want boats to go over him. I've been protecting him this whole time from all the boats. But, um, oh gosh, I'm trying to get over there with one arm. Um, I do know he's a cormorant because I lifted his little head up. But anyway, the message is this. For those of you who have been going through challenges, and even myself, it may feel like it's never ending, right? Have we done what we were supposed to do? Did we do the right thing is the question. And the fact that this is a cormorant who dove down deep under his emotional waters and he went after what he was, and he, and he did what he was supposed to do, right? He has metaphorically died to his old way of life and he is now being reborn into another, into a new part of his life. There he is, see, he's a cormorant. So, you have done what you were supposed to do. Don't second guess yourself now. Don't use this as a way to put off what you were supposed to be doing. Finish going on the path that you, that you started on. Everything that you've done up until this time has brought you to this place and you may be exhausted and you may feel like, I don't know if I should go back or if I should re retread a little bit or maybe just hold off. You have already died to that old way of life. It's over, it's done. And now you need to move forward. You need to finish it. Just like the cormorant's telling you, he's finished that part of his life and now he goes on to be another spirit creature, right? He's done his job, he's, learned, he's given his lesson to me and to now you. 
and this is the way we teach these others. Okay, I also want to show you something else since we're still rolling. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna say if you want to follow me, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Google Plus, I'm on Sherry Columbus Angels Whisper. No, Angels Whisper Sherry Columbus. I'm on YouTube where all these videos go. I have two YouTubes. My email is Sherry Columbus at Yahoo.com because my other email got seized. Um, and if you'd like any help with dream analysis or life coaching or personal readings, I'm now doing live videos like this for readings and it's really cool. It's been really well received. Um, any ma messengers that come you get, you get a personal, you know, you know, it's, it's more personal when you see somebody speaking to you and, and plus it's on YouTube and it's private just for you. Um, you can always go back and review it again. So that's something I'm offering now too. And it's, um, it's, it, it's pretty cool. Okay. The message that I wanted to give you was, uh, Cormorant. Um, oh, it was this. I went to my spiritual store the other day and I was kind of cruising around. I went to get this deck and as I was waiting, um, I was looking at the, the different types of crystals because I'm very into crystals for um, presents for my friends. And uh, I saw this one. It's a, it's a lapis and I was drawn to it because my twin soul wears a lapis cuff. And I said to the lady, can I see that please? So she says, oh, the lapis and moonstone. And I thought, what? I didn't know it was a moonstone. I wear the moonstone, right? My moonstone ring. I am the, the divine feminine, which is the moon energy. And I thought, oh my God, here we, here's he and I together in one. But what I, I was getting it for was a pendulum. I don't know if you know what a pendulum is. And I'm trying to do this without this ending. I did. This is how I turned it off, I think, the last time. What you do, pendulum is for yes or no answers. Um, and so when I do readings with people, a lot of times they'll ask me a yes or no question and I need it quickly. And so I use the pendulum. So what I do is, I'm gonna see if I can do this. I hold the pendulum over my hand. Is this working? Can you see this? Where's my hand? Okay, so I hold the pendulum over my hand. I hope you guys can see that this is ridiculous. And then I say, give me a yes. Let's see, it's going around to the right. Give me a no. Goes to the left. Wow, it's going fast, okay. Shall I go in and have the barbecue before I go home and upload this last reading? Yes, no. Yes. Are you guys able to see this as I'm recording this? Are you able to see this over my hand? Yes. Because I couldn't see that. So I won't know until <laughs> if that's the truth until I get back. But this is how you use a pendulum. And it works with your, your energy and your own higher self. And um, I thought it was pretty incredible that it's... Um, it's my twin soul and I together in, in an energetic form. And so I carry this with me. I always wear my, my moonstone, you know that. And so now I have also my pendulum so I, could, I can ask any, you know, I can ask the yes or no questions and get an answer um, for myself and for you. So I wanted to show you guys that because that's a, it's kind of a cool thing, hey? All right, that's it. Um, I think we're, we're still running. So clearly I was supposed to see that cormorant to add that um, to tell you guys that one, stop putting off where your path. Stop, stop stalling on what you know you want to do and what you, you say you want to do. And two, yes, you've done your job. Yes, you did the right thing. You made the right choice. Um, that is confirmation that that part of it is, is dead and, and done. It's in the past. So that's a, it's actually a very positive and very helpful confirmation for me to see too. Um, because I made a decision about something and I was starting to kind of waver and think, oh, you know, it might be easier this way. Nope, stick to your guns. You made your decision. That's confirmation. That's dead and bad. past. It's over. Move on. Keep moving forward. It's always about moving forward, right? All right. I'm going to go in and have a barbecue. That was my answer. I got a yes. So I'm glad. I'm sorry we got this in two, but we definitely needed to have those messages. I'll let you guys see around where we're at today. You know, it's really a bummer is I had a whole flock of crows that flew over my head when I was saying something about walk your walk, talk your talk. So clearly that's what they were saying to me is, Sherry, you made your decision. Don't backtrack. Stick to the, your guns, be independent, just like the reading was today telling us. Assert your independence, stand your ground, keep your integrity, be a strong person, draw to you. Um, I'll be strong Artemis and draw to me my, my uh, forest buck king. Yeah. All right, blessings to you guys, hugs, and we'll speak again soon.